Elite, the Hyper Havoc FS. Uh, um, I got it for $129 at Walmart in Indiana uh, with tax. It was $138.03. This is the model of the bike. It's called Mountain Hyper Men's Havoc. Slot number 549, which I guess only pertains to that Walmart. Uh, item number 556474927. Free assembly, roll me to the register. Wheel size is 26 inches. Rider height is 5 feet 2 inches to 5 feet 10 inches. I am 5'7". Um, maybe 5'8". I don't know. I haven't gotten my height checked in a while. Yes, it is the Hyper Bicycle Owner's Manual Havoc FS. Um, Force Series FS. And um, it's made for bike trails. Of course, people are going to say do not take department store bikes to bike trails. Uh, what happened was my Camrock 24-inch... Uh, mountain bike I got from Target um, was absolute shit. The chain was off, everything. Uh, it, it, it clicks on, it clicks off. Um, the tires get low really fast, and it's a mountain bike uh, male as well. Um, this one is 26 inches, and it has suspension. It has um, H4000 suspension bracket right here. Big, thick, meaty tires for women that love meaty tires on men's bikes. Um, it also has braking mechs right here, which is really weird. I've never seen braking mechs in the middle bar of a bike before, and they actually move and everything. Um, the seat is a little off of the beam, but that's how it's supposed to be. The chain seems tight, uh, seems to be tight, and it's got 21 speed gauges, as it says, but I only see seven. I don't know how this all works. Um, and it's for mountain biking usage, keeps superior control on rough terrain and downhill terrains. Like I said, people say not to use department store bikes. Obviously, my Camrock is an example of why you shouldn't. Um, but this one is an example of why you should. And I'm going to be doing some tests as well. So it's time to get the, the, uh, the testing 